twin windmills, right? Still no sign of Milia. Behold! I bring exquisite foods from across the sea! Ahem. <clears throat> not here to buy anything, eh? Ugh. I guess today's just not my day. Well, at least, I still have it better than that sullen blonde sardine. She was so spaced out, she didn't even notice the thieves on her tail. She's probably lost everything by now. You there, starfish! Quit eavesdropping and do me a favor. Go to the prairie and get rid of the Tinos. They're after my goods! Eavesdropping? You were so loud, we couldn't ignore you if we wanted to. Did you hear that, Captain? Milia's by the prairie. He also mentioned thieves. I hope Milia's okay. Let's take a look around. There has to be a witness somewhere. And while we're at it, we may as well deal with those Tinos. night and maybe a pack of thieves following her following as in stalking not like as her companions she'd never go around with a bunch of thieves what do i seem like i have time to care look just look at this look at sebastian the second's delicate little foot it's wounded those damn tinos well don't just stand there teach them a lesson can't you see poor little sebastian the second is frightened now off with you. Oh, and while you're at it, uh, fetch me the gold coins those Tinos stole. And you better not keep them for yourself. if you saw a blonde knight? Hmm, I don't know anything about a knight, but I saw a pack of rude, nasty thieves. Now give me the coins. Huh? What the? These are mine. Ugh! Those horrid doodles tore out Sebastian II's delicate fur. Those unforgivable. You two, go give them what for. Uh, I can't believe we've been dragged into this. If we don't find Milia, I'm blaming Sebastian. <sighs> Freaking Tynos. They're tougher than they look. Don't let them pull out your hair.
hear that, Captain? It's coming from over there. It must be the thief. Stop! Right there! You think we'll just let you attack, Milia? She's feeling pretty grumpy. What if she breaks your ribs? Uh, what? I, I was just running an errand. Then I saw a fight going down, so I hid here to watch. That's all. <sighs> Sorry, I thought you were a thief in hiding. Wait, did you say fight? Someone's fighting thieves up ahead. She's really beating the snot out of them. I almost feel sorry. Captain, that's gotta be Milia. Who else would it be? Can you tell us where she is? Huh? Yeah, sure thing. I saw them fighting over there. Hurry, Captain. We can't let Milia slip away again. Over there. I can hear the battle getting closer. Whoa. Did she really take them? It's too late for the thieves. Let's just help Milia. I must be seen. I missed you? You're not hurt, are you? I have so much to tell you. But first, about Castle. Hush now, Evelyn. I already know Castle's fate. I'm sure it was hard for you. I'm sorry. I just wasn't fast enough. Uh, uh, it's about time I finished my errand, so... See ya! Wait, you! There might still be thieves nearby. We'll take you to... And he's gone. Shh. There's no need to act tough, dear Evelyn. You and Lats are still young. You should lean on Captain and me. We'll bear the weight of losing Castle until you're older and your hearts have hardened, as ours have. Ah, uh, Milia, listen to me. Castle is fine. Very fine. Completely fine, in fact. I don't think she gets it, Captain. We need to j What was that? The boy? That reminds me, Milia, where's your pack? Wait, that boy stole my pack? No wonder I felt lighter than usual. All this time, I thought it was because Castle's soul had left me. Milia, you've known Castle's been fine this entire time, right? Please tell me you knew this whole time and this is one big joke. We really need to get your pack back. There's something on the ground. A gold coin? Looks like a trail of them. Let's follow it. Did they fall from my pack? Silly me being so careless. Hearing that Castle's fine and seeing you two? I let my guard down. The thieves must have attacked Milia after seeing her gold coins. Maybe the boy... Oh, the pack might be empty by the time we get to it. Let's just forget the pack and get you a new one after we meet up with Castle and Lats. They said they'd be waiting in the Terong Woodlands. Castle holds on to most of our money anyways. I'm not just worried about money. I had something extremely important in there. And I'd head straight to the Tarong Woodlands if I could, but... Can we look for just a bit longer? Excuse me, have you seen this boy? He must 
to pass this way. Hmm. You mean Benny? Yeah, I saw him. He was bragging about something or other. Did he pick up something valuable? Benny, huh? Sounds about right. Do you know where we can find him? I'm not sure. He could be pretty much anywhere on the island. Oh, that's right. His sister Erin is at the Starlit Shore campsite. She might know where he is. Oh, if you're heading to the campsite, could you take care of any doodles on the way? They've gotten rather aggressive lately, and we've been pretty short-handed. Aggressive doodles? That's weird. I wonder what's going on. A doodle hunt sounds fun, actually. They must have been a nuisance to the residents. Let's make sure we're super prepared this time. I don't want anyone getting... You're Benny's older sister. Have you seen him? He has something of mine that's deathly important. My very life depends on it. Milia, don't scare the poor girl. We're Benny's friends. He said he's on an errand, so we want to help. Oh, I never sent him on an errand. What's that troublemaker up to? I should have expected this. With the flower festival coming up, the whole island is bustling. I don't know where he is, but Marimo might. Why don't you ask her? Shh. I'm playing hide and seek with my friend. I need to count to 100 and find Daisy in the backyard. You know, if you can find Daisy for me, I'll tell you where Benny is. Daisy is so good at hiding. I'm afraid I'll be it forever. Hide and seek, huh? That brings back memories. I'm game, though I may be a bit rusty. Tickets are too sparse. If she's a good hunt. Wah! <laughs> 
sent us to find you. Now you're it! No fair! That doesn't count. Marimo needs to find me. Wait, kid, stop! We take forever to find her, and then she just runs off? Huh. <sighs> Guess there's nothing we can do. Let's go talk to Marimo. Yay! Thanks for finding Daisy. She says I'm a cheater for sending someone in my place. Well, maybe she just needs to improve her strategy. Benny went to the beach over there. He's a troublemaker, not a rock climber. So he shouldn't be too far. Considering how fast he got away, I wouldn't be surprised if he is a rock climber. We should hurry. You have my gratitude. It's by Lavena's blessing that I've met you all. I thought I was done for. Did those Roccos and Lobs jump you? They usually stick under boulders. It's rare to see them behave like that. My thoughts exactly. I've lived on this island my whole life, but this is new to me. I heard the beach creatures had gotten vicious, but didn't realize how bad it really was. A lot of people stop here for the Urna flowers. This is bad. I need to warn everyone when I get back. Thank you, Traveler. Wait. Captain? Milia? The Roccos and Lobs are acting so weird. They've gotten crazy. to see this beach as their domain.
Kings. No wonder the Roccos and Lobs are so agitated. This was the last place I expected to find demons. Lavina Island seems so peaceful. Don't worry, Evelyn. We know how to deal with demons. Besides, they've already moved on. These markings are all that's left. Still... Demons on such a lovely island? I'm worried. We should take a look around just in case. The Brelin Dominion saw demons less frequently than anywhere else, right? It's also the farthest dominion from Roxxon where the dimensional gate opened. Demons are popping up all over the place these days. Is anywhere safe? This isn't mine. Huh? Someone's waving at us. Hey there, youngsters. Have you seen my pack? I lost it while trying to get away from those lobs. Can you help me find it? It's a matter of life and death. If I return home without it, my wife will kill me. Then my precious babies will starve. <gasps> Is this your pack? It was lying on the beach. Why, yes. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. I put all my grog meat in there. Would you care for some? Consider it a show of my gratitude. Huh? Huh? This isn't enough meat. Meat, huh? Like the kind those Roccos over there are eating? Look at that Rocco go. Taking a big old chomp. No! My precious grog meat! Please, I need it. Whatever's left of it, anyways. 
Captain! Milia! We gotta hurry before all of it gets... Not much meat left, is there? Maybe we can help... <laughs> Some law claws will do. Lobs claws. It's not meat, but it should be enough to keep my wife happy. I can return to my family with my head held high. I can't thank you enough. No worries. By the way, do you happen to know a kid named Benny? Benny? Of course. Is that ruffian causing you trouble? I saw him running up the hill over there. Is he nearby? I hope to find him with my pack, preferably in one piece. Pray that kid didn't eat what's inside my pack like those Roccos did, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> 